Y'all, this is your girl, Anita Gill, on What With Another Video on Mr. Reese Martin. And this time, it's going to be on a full interview with uh, Chicago Morning Show, okay? Uh, Kanika, uh, Miss Teresa is going to um, tell her part inside. And to me, she tells the same story, y'all. The story is the same. But what we're going to do, uh, since it's a reaction channel, we're going to react to what Miss Teresa said. And see that anything changes, okay? Um, and this is for entertainment purposes um, and um, cut for criticism, commenting, teaching, education, news reporting, uh, and research, okay? Let's take a look at this video and we're going to react on it. So, people, y'all either get your pencil and your paper, whatever you want to do, your phone, and let's react in the Rosemont Crown Plaza Hotel. That's right. So let's let's start there. Let's start the, the night that you got the phone call about your daughter. Okay. Um, I received a phone call 4.34 in the morning from her friend stating to me that my daughter's missing. Um, they can't find them. So I asked them, could they take their time, you know, just have a little patience at first to see if... People, as Miss Teresa speaks... Pay attention to Lenora uh, facial expressions. Just, just look at her facial expression every time. Look at it now. Just pay attention to that when Miss Teresa says something. First, her mouth, uh, Lenora, know her mouth was hanging open. Now she closed it and look at her eyes. They can find her. In the background, I hear one of the other friends stating. You notice they took the camera off of Lenora, and they put it on Miss Teresa. You know, she tired of waiting. She tired of this. She ain't nothing, you know, getting a little rowdy. So I asked them to calm down and just bring my car to me. Because your daughter had, because they, they were at the hotel for a party and your daughter was the driver of the night. Yes, my daughter was the driver of so the night. They, and they had her keys at this moment. They had her keys. And, and, he, and they never mentioned that they had a phone. And so after I got off the phone with one friend, I called a phone just to hear her other friend state to me um, that... I have a phone too, so I asked him. I said, "Y'all, y'all, wait, hold on. You have my car keys and her cell phone." I knew something wasn't wasn't right, right, right. So, um, you know, after that story, you you obviously went to the hotel and began the search for your daughter. And the hotel at first wasn't as cooperative, correct? No, they wasn't. Okay. From when, when me speaking with their friends, when the hotel, the I'm sorry, the friends stated to me that they was looking for because I asked them, you know, uh, to look, continuously look for it first. Right. And she said that um, they was making them leave. The hotel was, you know. They were trying to kick them out that Yes, they night. were going to kick them out that night. And because this is like about 4 o'clock in the morning? Oh, before. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. They was going to kick them out if they leave and call the police on them to arrest them. Hmm. Now, why were they threatening? The lady is, <laughs> the lady who's doing the interview, let me stop it right quick, y'all. Yeah. Really, you know this is a reaction channel, so we are here to react on the video, okay? Not to watch the whole video that working, okay? So we working right here. You notice how the lady who's doing the interview watching Lenore on her phone? Lenore not supposed to be on her phone, phone doing an interview. But she's watching Lenore. But wait to what she tell Lenore. The sign that she gives Lenore. <clears throat> no, because they stated to me that they told them that my daughter was missing. They can't find her. And they felt like that was reason to kick everybody out? Yes, obviously. When was, you, okay, the, the friends that called you, when was their last time that they saw your daughter, Kanika, alive? What's their last reaction, in, interaction with Kanika? Well... They stated to me it was two, because I asked them when was the, how long she been missing, and they said it was two hours before they called me. I asked them why didn't they call me before. They said because one of the friends was didn't want me to know what? that my daughter was missing. Hold so up, hold up, house. stop. Pause. What night say pause? Well, look, one of the friends didn't want to call Miss Teresa. Which friend was that? Cause that's not a friend. With Kanika. Right. 
Now, but did they say how they like how she broke from the group? Like, how does she break away from the group? Right. Okay, it was like two different stories. First, that day that she came, you know, she came up missing. They stated that they left in the front lobby, which is on my nine one one call. Okay. Um, because that's see y'all. You see, this morning I did an interview and I told y'all I would never forget. They said them girls said from the beginning. That they took her down to the lobby in the downstairs in the lobby. But listen, keep listening. That's what they told me. Then later on that day in the um afternoon, headed towards the evening, they stated to me they left her upstairs by the room door. See? See? I told y'all those was the two main places that those girls kept saying they put to uh Kanika. They said downstairs in the lobby and upstairs by the door. Why are y'all lying to that lady in her face? And y'all and she let y'all in her house. You know, so they changed where they saw her last. Yes. But isn't there a point, if I'm if I recall correctly, when they released the videotape, so there was a point where she got out the elevator, but somebody was in the elevator. Am I am I recalling that wrong? Those were, I think, the allegations of people saying that they were in the elevator. Because there's been so many conspiracy theories when it comes to what happened with your daughter, Kanika. So we didn't see anybody in the elevator with her? No, I no, not, not in the video. I allegedly think somebody was in the, in, the, in that elevator with her. Y'all caught the shuttle that I showed y'all. Uh, and I kept an error on there. Somebody was on the elevator with her, allegedly. But watch Lenore also. Look at Lenore. So, not that I saw. Did you guys see anything different? No. We didn't see anything okay. with that. No. Okay. But again, so many conspiracy theories were being thrown out right. there. So now, okay, let's... So you're, you're at the hotel. You find her. So when do they actually... From from when you get to the hotel, when, do, when does the hotel finally find your daughter in the freezer? Well... Once I get to one side, all right. Look at Lenore. Watch Lenore. I don't like Lenore, the facial expression. They finally found her after the third time of us coming in, me and my family coming up to the hotel, begging for help from the hotel, pleading with them, and also Rosemont Police Department. So it was, it was like hours. Like was it like thirty six hours? Yes, it was like thirty six hours. My, I have take. a question about why, if somebody says that their daughter is yeah. missing in their hotel, why wouldn't they be willing to help? Did they give you a reason as to yeah. how we're not concerned? She'll just show up. She's probably okay, and they just blew it off. Did they have a reason for why they're not willing to help at that point? Well, they stated to me that you know basically it wasn't their concern. The hotel, mm -hmm. you know, Crown Plaza. And manager at the time. Um, that's a police matter. Mm. Oh, it's a police matter. Mm -hmm. And the police probably said a person has to be missing for 48 mm -hmm. hours in order for you to file an official report. 24 hours. 24 hours. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, no, it's, it's more than it's more than two hours. Yes. Okay. So when do they finally go look through the tapes to realize okay she really was at this hotel? So I guess I'm trying to figure out how did they discover her in the freezer? Okay. When my daughter went up there. Your other daughter? Yes, my other daughter. Okay, no, 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 no. Y'all heard it, right? Who is her other daughter? Who is Miss Teresa's other daughter? Because I noticed on Facebook, they said happy birthday to my daughter. That was an older girl. Who is she? How many daughters do she have? Because she just said my other daughter. Who is her other daughter that we haven't seen? But I noticed on Facebook she said happy birthday to her daughter, and it was a girl that I never seen. So this is Lenora, Kanika's sister. So the other girl must have had nothing to do with her. Okay. They're missing, and they said it was two hours before they called me. Okay. I asked hold them on. why didn't they call me before? They said because one of the friends. Was didn't want me to know. Okay, wait, yeah, I went there. Can you know after me returning back home? No, nah, I went to. She Holland. headed out the door as I was coming in. Her and, and, and two of her friends, and when they got up to the hotel, they asked 
you know, the person at the front desk, if they can look on the cameras and see again, once again, if they see, you know, if, if that Kanika's, I'm sorry, if Kanika was there. Right. And they stated to her also as well that it was a police matter. So she goes, she calls 911 as well, and the police suggested that and told her that he couldn't leave and come up to the hotel to meet her. She would have to come down to the police station. Once she came, you know, got to the police station and made the report, the missing person report, the only reason that Crown Plaza Police Department came up to back up to the hotel, not because of my daughter was missing, not because of the missing person report, was because she forgot, Lenore forgot to put her signature on the missing person report. Mm. Paper. Right. Hold up. How did Lenore... Lenora, how did you forget to put your name on the missing person report? Because usually at the end of something, you always see sitting the tour. All right, but it can be easily done. That's okay, and said. Right. So it's the Rosemont Police. Yes, correct? the Rosemont Police Department. Mm -hmm. So once they he got there, and you know he had called and asked her where where was she. She stated that she's back up at the hotel. You know, she's telling the she's telling the person at the front desk at the hotel that now she has a missing report. report I'm sorry, missing person report mm -hmm. number. She stated, could they look at the cameras? You know, and they still deny her. You know, to see if her sister was missing. She asked the police, the Rosemont police officer, if he can give her a copy of the police report. He stated to her, it'll take all day. You know. Um, he can't give her a copy, so she asked him, could she get... Let me ask you something. Is this Lenora? Nobody never answered that question for me. Please, read when y'all react to this, down, put it down in the uh, comment section. Yes or no? Is this Lenora? And, why, and if it is Lenora, why is Lenora not speaking? Because Miss Teresa said her other daughter we, that we never met. But who is she? Who is she? And she old enough to speak. Have the number to the person, missing person report. So upon his arrival, Lenore asked him, could you please look at the cameras? You know, the security cameras to see if they see Kanika. Right. And he, he finally agreed he would. He went into the security office, from my understanding. And this is the officer that we're talking about Yes, right the, now. the officer that made out the right. mental person. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to stick on this. <sighs> Ain't this the same girl who's on, who was saying, my sister, my sister, my sister. She old enough to talk, speak. Why they not interviewing her? She was the one on Dr. Oz's show. She spoke on Dr. Oz's show. Why they ain't let her speak on here? I'm just curious. I'm in and I'm curious about the other daughter. Who is she? What she look like? Report. Okay. Lenore stated to me that he went in there like five minutes, came back out, and stated that on the first missing person report, on the missing person report, that um, he searched front and back and he did not see Kanika entering or exiting the building. Hmm. So that means she wasn't there according to them. According to them, she wasn't there. Okay. So who? Okay. So Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Let me take that bit. Let me take this bit. We got that. Because they were looking at Stop. the Stop. We got to pay attention. We got to pay attention. Let me take that back a little bit. Could she get have the number to the person missing person report? So. Upon his arrival, Lenore asked him, could you please look at the cameras, you know, the security cameras to see if they see Kanika. Right. And he he finally agreed he would. He went into the security office, from my understanding. And this is the officer that we're talking about Yes, right the, now. the officer that made out the right. missing person report. Okay. Lenore stated to me that he went in there like five minutes, came back out, and stated that on the first missing person report, on the missing person report, that um, he searched front and back, and he did not see Kanika entering or exiting the building. Wait a minute, stop. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Did y'all hear Miss Teresa? Mm -mm. 
You see that face? Uh-oh. They did not see Kanika entering the hotel nor exiting the hotel. So how in the hell she got in that freezer? Step by the line. Somebody is covering up. They shouldn't have said that. They didn't see no no camera of her entering, not exiting the, the hotel because she was in the freezer. So she had to come in some kind of way. Somebody changed the camera, allegedly. So that means she wasn't there, according to them. According to them, she wasn't there. Okay. So who, okay, so who found Kanika in the freezer? And did they find her just by accident or did they find her because they were looking at the videos? Okay, well, when we was there at the police, Rosemont Police Department stated that they was, they're the ones that found Kanika. But with me looking at the news and reading in the paid newspapers, an employee found her. So mm -hmm. that's... Pause. An employee found her. Mm. How he know to look in that freezer? That's probably why they all got fired. That's what that is. How how did he know to look in that freezer? Why did he know to look in the other freezer? In the other freezers. The security. The employee. They say employee. That's a good question. Uh, I really wouldn't. So you don't know who? You're I, not I, for I sure. I'm not for sure. Right. But you actually, um, they brought you to see Kanika while she was in the freezer. After being denied at first, because I asked them. And I went online on Facebook um, because I needed help. I was looking for help. And I started timing myself, basically, to let them know just in case if something like this come <clears throat> up. They couldn't say that I was, I wasn't, you know, conscious right, enough. Right, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like I was like right. out of my mind or whatever. Right. And I stated because I had made a post on Facebook before that, you know, when I was in the search of Kanika, that I needed help, you know, if somebody see my daughter to inform me, you know. And um, I mean, after I made this live video. So let me ask you something. So y'all still think, so you people that seeing that, People like me and other people will take it up for Teresa. What are y'all thinking while she's doing this interview? What are y'all thinking? Now, don't get us wrong. Don't get me wrong. People do, women do kill their kids. But I don't think, allegedly think that she has nothing to do with this. It's just my opinion. Stick with what you've been saying. I re-entered the hotel, and I asked them, how was she laying, the, the, the head detective? How was she laying? He stated um, she was laying on her side. And I said, was she laying, how was the leg? Was they curved, you know, curved, you right. know, like in a fetal position. position? Yes. He said, no, they were straight. I said, okay. Next question. Can I see my daughter? How she died, you know how. Why is it important? Can it, uh, Mr. Reese, you had a lot of questions that a lot of moms didn't hit when a hit. Why is it important the way she lied with Lynn? What? Why was that so important? Why was Why was it important the way her legs were set? Okay, he told you she was laying on her side. Why was that important? And how was her legs? Somebody help me out right here. Why was she asked that? She asked that for a reason. But what reason would somebody out in the medical field help me out? Why was she asked what side, how she was laying and turn around and ask how were her legs? What makes the difference in that? Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to know. I'm paying attention. She laid in the freezer. As you know, I wanted to see her. He said, the detective stated yes. An hour or two went past, give or take. The sergeant come in with a very rude attitude. Um, 
No, you cannot see her. It's against our procedures, our policy. You can't see her. So I asked him, with the card that that leading detective gave me, is it possible that he can put his, write his name on the back of the card? He said yes. After he said yes, I said, and as, as well as your badge number. And I hear him whisper to the detective, badge number. So then he said, as we, everybody getting ready to pet round up to go, he said, you know what? Hold on, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to speak with the coroner. And see Wait, hold up. Why, why would he be so mean to this woman who don't, who baby was found dead in that in that hotel? Why would they mean to her like that? Her daughter was found in their hotel, and y'all snapping on her. Golly, who is this evil person? See what they can do. So here we go. Hours later five hours, maybe a little bit more, but around it off five hours later, wow. they come to me and state, only I could come see her. Me, I'm allowed, and I could bring one more other person with me. That's when they allowed me, they walked us back there, they said, wait, this is the crime scene. You are not allowed to take any photos. You, you can't touch, and you know, don't touch anything. And they watched us as if we was there. Mm -hmm. You know, like we had some. We was in How you going to tell her mom not to touch her own daughter? She, she, Teresa is good. Teresa is real good. I just took the bit and got in trouble that day, y'all. Y'all going to have to pull me off. Though. I'm not about to be standing there and not look at, get touch my daughter. And by the way, they supposed to let her see her daughter in a better way than that. When the time you letting the parents see them daughters, yo, yo, anybody seeing their little one, they supposed to be able to touch them. They supposed to be on head her fixed. Ugh. So I don't understand why they let her see her like that at the hotel if the coroner wasn't ready for her to touch her daughter. You see what I mean? Y'all put your reaction down in the uh, comment section. What I'm saying is, why they didn't want they before when, when Miss Teresa came back that they supposed to be on you know, the corner supposed to be don't did everything they supposed to do so this woman can touch her daughter. What's the problem? Up in it, 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 it seemed like the crime scene was right. on us, not what went on with my daughter. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So you see your daughter in the freezer now to bring up to date. No, I'm no. sorry. No, at this time, they had removed her from the freezer. Oh, I they asked them. Yes, they removed her from the freezer. When they removed her from the freezer, about the time we came five hours or plus later, you know, more right. later, rounding it off, Tamika was laying on a scratcher in a white um, body bag already. Oh. So you never saw her? I never saw her. I never saw her. They, oh, they, oh, they stayed as well. That there was no signs of um, foul play. Right. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Y'all, let me back this back for a minute. They said she didn't let her see her dog. Later. Wow. They come to me and state, only I could come see her. Me, I'm allowed, and I could bring one more other person with me. That's when they allowed me, they walked us back there, they said, wait, this is the crime scene. You are not allowed to take any photos. You you can't touch, and you know, don't touch anything. And they watched us as if we was there. You know, like we had some, we was involved in it. It, it, it seemed like the crime scene was right. on us, not what went on with my daughter. Right. Mm -hmm. So you see your daughter in the freezer now to bring up to date. No, oh, I'm no. sorry. No, at this time, they had removed her from the freezer. Oh, I they asked them. Yes, they removed her from the freezer. When they removed her from the freezer, about the time we came five hours or plus later, you know, more right. later, rounding it off, Tamika was laying on a scratcher in a white um, body bag already. Oh. So you never saw her? I never saw her. Whoa, 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 whoa. They, oh, they, oh. Hold up. Now, whoever made the other videos... They made it look like that Miss Teresa saw her daughter. Miss Teresa is telling y'all what really happened, y'all. Now she, she can talk. Now <clears throat> you know some of those videos were made, right? The other one. But the thing is, she couldn't tell y'all what happened. She did, and then it won't be no truth behind it. You know, then then y'all got to figure. She wanted y'all to figure it out, but you just heard her. 
They ain't even let her see her daughter. But the way they had us watching that, she was watching her daughter, remember? Okay, watching the daughter. They said it as well, that there was no signs of um, foul play. Right. Like it was just a normal look, you know? That's what they no said. Sign, that, no signs moment. of sexual harassment and any, anything. Right. Okay, now where y'all get the broomstick and all this stuff pictures. from? Yes. Okay, right. stop, pause. Why y'all said she was raped? You see what I mean? It's too much going on. Even the girl, uh, Brown, even says they raped that girl. Even somebody, uh, uh, Mr., uh, some, whatever that man name, uh, said that about a broomstick. They, they just said they didn't insist. What's up, this girl? No sense what's out. Different because the pictures came out before that, though, the video came out. So, when we saw the video of her trying to find her way throughout the hotel, what did you think about the, the videos? That she was wandering in the hotel and she needed help. And you know, she had a hotel, a five star um, hotel. Right. I know it was surveillance, just like now. Miss Teresa said that was Kanika on the video, it's the hallway job. It just came out of her mouth. It just came out. Of Mama said it. That was her daughter. Now, it probably been the fake videos wasn't her. But she said that Kanika was trying to find her way. She's doing a real good being strong right here. Yeah, on each floor, it's a. they might not have cameras all through the hotel, but entering and exiting the elevator, there are cameras. But it is her on the camera because, like I said, so many conspiracy theories. Some people said that's not even her on the video. You do believe it was your daughter on the video? Yes. Okay. Um, y'all heard it? People, did you all just hear that? Now, now, now look, calm down, calm down. Not all the videos, miss, like some people said there was four videos. Okay. We talking about the video that Miss Teresa saw of her in the hallways. She said that was Kanika. Now, all them make-believe videos, she's not speaking on them, okay? Give her that respect. She's saying that the one that the one the video that she saw her walking on walking through the hallway. Not all them fake videos, y'all. She saw the real surveillance. And like she said, in order to, to find, in order to see that girl walking the hallway like that, it had they had to have cameras. Listen to her. Do you believe they're saying that that one part of the video when she's walking towards the, the refrigerator, that's her last time being shown on video?